This one looks slightly complicated. What's back here? Another fight. Hi. Oh, there's a chest down here. Nice. Also, I can't use any text anymore as this character. Probably should have swapped out first. There we go. <laughs> we can still do Antipode Blast. Well, that felt slightly excessive, and <laughs> that was brutal. What if we exploit them, but then also just keep exploiting them forever? <laughs> we don't want to attack those guys because they're in they're in super evasion mode. Makes them thoroughly not worth fighting. Ow! But the others, they're open. They're open range. Got, oh, double miss. Antipode blast. Oh. Didn't quite wait long enough, so I didn't have access to my next uh, SP. That's my mistake. I'm not used to fights taking this long. <laughs> They've had so many one, one uh, single move fights, it's actually slightly surprising when it lasts a bit longer. I should just use Fire 2, honestly. Saying I've got to use fire is kind of funny just because it's like the implication of like, y'all look like a bunch of combustible creatures. Tech power. Ranking up fire two bit by bit. Athenian water times five. Wow. That's not bad. That's somewhere in the ter that's that's I think that's 6,000 6, gold worth of uh, item. Or whatever the currency is in this game. It's just easy to call it gold in every game, honestly. Yep, so we're continuing the trend where the smart thing is to do is, to do is, uh, is cross the bridge and then press the other button, then go back and press the first button. So they're, they're as little puzzled as this actually is, it's already actually managing to become repetitive in their structure of it because they keep doing it the same way. Uh, yep, Niter's already maxed out on MP again. So is Eterna. Thanks to the magic of people leveling up. Uh, Astral Bloom and Phantasm Break, those will work. Especially since Phantasm Break uses use the two elements of the, uh, the people that are not low at all. Get him. That's a big old crowd of enemies. Wow, we're really blending the party at this point and just putting them in whatever position we feel like. Astral Bloom, physical damage, attacks element changes with each hit. That's different. I'll give that a shot. Who's the best target? You guys are right on top of us. I'm sure they're fine. They're not fine. Whirlwind Strike! Now how's everyone feeling? A little more dead? It's just these squirrels we gotta deal with now. Not the snowball ride, what are we gonna do? Probably kill his teammate instead. <laughs> Seems like a reasonable reaction to snowball mode. Almost there. There we go. Nice double hit. No misses. Alright, it's just you now. All alone. But at least you were a coward and let your friend die without you. So that was worth it. Gotcha. So many items. Alright. Nothing back here. Somewhere around here we're going to find our way up. Oh, that's silver chest over there, so we don't need to go back there. Oh, here we go. Oh, one of royal blood, heed my warning. Is it a boss fight? Can I get a, a resting place, please? I've done like an hour of dungeon, so I'm a little worried. Amongst those thou lead, leadest here, there is one alone who bears no human blood. Don't we already know that? What? Oh, what if it's a Turna? <laughs> Because the, uh, Kier is, like, part beast or something, or, like, they're vaguely... They're, like, they're... Oh, wait, they're not even beast-like, are they? Now I'm trying to remember the lore of how Kier's people work. Uh, they're not beast-like, are they? Aren't they... I don't... I think they're just magical. Like, they're more in tune with their magic, and that's what... That makes them burn out faster. So, it, it would seem that a turn it would be the one that turns out to be a beast, unless it's... Ah, I, I mean, you could... You could throw it at Ender, I guess. We have... We know nothing about him. The individual must be rooted out and eliminated before it is too late. 
Uh. A perplexing question indeed. When my transformation was at its worst, perhaps because of the confusion in my mind, my memories of our journey are hazy, and I remember very little. You were also not on our... You weren't really a part of our journey for very long. We went from that town to the next town with you, and then you immediately went crazy, and we had to go back to the previous town without you to get you again. Uh, but judging by your reaction, it seems you already know who the, uh, the answer. You already know who it is among you that is not human. Oh, we, so we do just mean Kira, and that's it? Please, I want you to collect your thoughts and, and each think of your answer. Let our minds be as one. No, there's the, the answer they're giving us is Eterna. I mean, we're not going to eliminate her. But yeah, Eterna. I do not need Ender to tell me. It is Eterna. Julian. Even I do not... Even I do not know who Eterna truly is. But now Setsuna's spell has lifted the fog from my mind. There is one thing I do, not, I do know. Eterna's magical energy is somehow different. It is not that of a human. So you're saying that humans can't have time powers. <laughs> thou hast answered well. Once thou hast disposed of her, then I shall deem thee worthy of the throne. Uh, well, we're not doing that. I am afraid we have no intention of disposing of Eterna. You are wasting your time. I shall not be disposing of her. Any attempt to induce me to do so is meaningless. And what is the reason for thine answer? I do not know who you are, but just as you refused my, me entry here when the transformation had me in its throes, if you had been so inclined, I am sure you could ha have also done away with Eterna. Seeing as you did not, that must mean you have deemed her to be no foe. Is that not so? Furthermore, I have fought alongside Eterna. She is my comrade. Whether she is human or not, she remains my ally. I shall never turn my blade against an ally. Thou hast answered well. Trust is one of the qualities that make a king. And placing one's trust in others without regard to birth or lineage is a sign of a true king. It is a king who is without prejudice that the people and the court shall place their thrust, their trust. <laughs> Engrave these words upon thy heart and continue on. This poor, poor, heavily scarred heart. It's funny that that would happen when I when Eterna was actually the party leader of all times. Uh, should I be doing a? F I probably want to do a heal again, actually. There we go. There's enough damage scattered from character to character. All right, rule of threes would indicate that's probably the last question, so I probably get a tent, resting location, save spot next, and then a boss fight, or not. Hello, spooky ghost. How you doing? Sneaky! Oh, I didn't get him, did I? What you doing? Oh, he does not want to run away. Well, that's not very effective. He's probably gonna run away now. Or not. Interesting. Wow, a lot of experience for one enemy, too. Huh. Thought for sure it was gonna run. Antique green ring. Whoa, look at that crowded ass room. Alright. How are we doing on mana? Actually fine for these three? Okay. Just gonna sneak up on them. Uh. Turn the other way. Pretty please. Oh, did I get it? Answer's yes. Cool. Let's go for the bloom on the big guy. Isn't... Oh, we got that. Okay. Then Whirlwind Blade should take out all of the remainders, really. And now we're down to one. One sad little angry penguin monster named Empy. Is it Empy? They, they call him Empy because he's empty inside. Because all his friends are dead. 
We symbolized the emptiness by removing the T, because apparently naming him that wasn't subtle enough. Hello. Why would I press this button? Oh, I'm gonna go all the way over here and I'm gonna make another bridge down there and then that bridge is gonna connect to it and then I'm gonna want- then that island that currently goes nowhere is gonna make sense. I'm on board. I know what you're doing with your brain games. Is that my goal over there? Probably. I'm surprised we're still going, honestly. Oh, this is probably it. What do you do? Oh, it's a shortcut back so I don't get stuck. Actually, not even just so I don't get stuck, it's like... Well, it's not a shortcut, it's just the only way to get back after I rotate this accordingly. I'm surprised we're still going. I really thought I was gonna go through that room, and we were gonna transition directly into like a save point in a boss fight. Because a lot of games really love their threes, but if, late, lately in particular, the, J, the JRPGs I've been playing love the number three. And almost religious- they almost seem to religiously stick to it, and it, it almost gets weird at some point. These guys are tough. Go for that guy. Oh, Kinda hope some of it might spread to the bird. Not so much luck this time. We can finish him. There we go, one down. Ow. Everyone gets time powers. Oh wait, I didn't wait for SP so it's not going through the party. Ah. Spreading the ice. I'm on Nida right now, whoops. Supposed to attack with my new time weapons. Ow! Okay, Nida, you're gonna use Diffuse, because we need to potion the party pretty badly right now. There we go. Got him. And now we're just smashing a bird with giant swords. Like good people do. Yay! And momentum effect three. I'm happy with it. It's like getting those uh, session skills in Tokyo Mirage sessions. Like this, it, They're universally good things to have added on. Until you somehow run out of slots. Are we changing screens again? No, there's more up here. It looked like, it felt like I was getting closer to the edge of the screen, like it was going to transition again. I really should have swapped out my characters, because I don't have the MP. Whoops. We'll just have to whirlwind. And then ice. There we go. And a little follow up here. And then there was one. Party dismantled. No. Remember that one time? That one time that time froze so that you could get get, get, get awkwardly nibbled on by a penguin monster. Pepperidge Farms remembers. Uh, let's see here. You're all full. Nice. We can swap you all back in. Oops. There we go. No ether usage here. Save those for the boss fights. Oh, another one of these. And a shortcut. I keep thinking we're done with these. I assume this is a shortcut to a previous spot. Hello. That looks nice. Sneaking? Yeah. Not sure if this was, is a shortcut or if it's just a little side path. Uh, you're not useful. Do you have better combos? Just... Really, it's just fire cleave and lightning cleave. Okay. I mean, we could do Fire Cleave and Luminaire. They really take damage that time? Oh yeah, I just swapped out all my party members, so I might not be able to see health bars. We'll see in a second. No, I cannot. Okay. Cyclone. Now how you feeling? Alive, apparently. Okay. One second. There we go. If I'm gonna spend the energy on fire, too. I might as well have the SP ready for it. There we go.
Critical hit rate on Cleave. I'm happy. What do we get? New sword. Happy I came here. Mechadeus. <laughs> Look at that weapon design. That is Tron. Is what is that? It's like I'm gonna fight somebody with like a USB stick with a sword handle on the end. It's a, it's a very strange sight. A light sword forged in ancient times. Its power its power is so absolute that it defies even the laws of nature. It boosts attack power when striking a weakness. So if you can hit their weakness, you get bonus damage. Hopefully that weakness is swords. <laughs> so where am I right now? I assume that it must be near the entrance or something. I'm, I really hope they give me a save point before the inevitable boss fight shows up. I'm starting to genuinely uh, get concerned about whether or not I should run all the way back to the entrance to save and then come back here since I've opened up all these shortcuts. Because otherwise I lose like an hour of time, I think. If I ever die. Oh, one of royal blood. I'm putting my trust in the game because so far we've always had a save point before every boss fight, I think. Now let me ask thee my final question. Must a kingdom have a king? Of course it must! Kingdom! You don't even need to think about this one. If you say no, you'll be rejecting the very existence of the royal family. But if you say yes, it might seem like you're only trying to justify your own claim to the throne. Julian. There is no doubt in my mind. Whether I was the bearer of the royal bloodline, or whether I was a member of the tribe of mercenaries, no doubt my answer would remain unchanged. Are you about to talk about how there doesn't have to be a king for a kingdom to function? Please, I want you to collect your thoughts and each, and each think of your answer. Let our minds be as one. Um... Well... Huh. I wonder why they're asking me- if she already knows her answer, why is she asking me? I'm gonna say no, because I don't know if we need a kingdom root. I mean, obviously, for it to be a kingdom from a semantics point of view, but screw semantics, uh, literally needs to have a king to be a kingdom, because that's what the word means, I believe, because it's, <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory. But does, like, do people need a king? Not necessarily. Uh, as far as I can tell, we don't have a king right now. No. A kingdom needs no king. And what is the reason for that answer? Judging by the previous questions, she'll either have a shitty short answer, and then I'll get kicked out, or, uh, if she has a- if it's the right answer, it's gonna be a very long and thoughtful explanation. <laughs> with no king, the people may still live, but with no people, a king cannot. It is evident which is the more important of the two. If a kingdom needs no king, to what end dost thou wish to act as ruler to thy homeland once restored? This is a contradiction, a grave contradiction. Dost thou so hunger for the throne? Dost thou so wish for power? Do not belittle me. When did I ever speak of the throne? It is not in order to seize power that I wish to see my homeland restored. It is to put an end to this age of fear and suffering at the hands of the monsters. United under a mighty kingdom, the people shall feel solidarity. Then, together, we shall rise up against the monsters and usher in an age of peace. If, once the age of peace arrives, a ruler should no longer be needed, I shall readily abdicate my throne. That's very optimistic to think that you're going to finish this uh, establishing an age of peace within your lifetime. It is because I am prepared for, uh, for such an eventuality that I can say a kingdom needs no king. Thou truly art the successor to the teachings of the royal family. I have no more questions for thee. Continue on and carry in, in your heart the resolve and determination of a king. We did it! Yes! Save point, save point, save point, save point. No. Oh. Save point, save point, save point, save point. Yeah! <laughs> Was genuinely starting to worry a little bit. Let's see. Dare I use it? A cabin? Ah, uh, 17 cabins! Wow! Look at this real estate mogul over here. I use one just because I feel like I earned it at that point. <laughs> Alright, let's save. Let's go ahead and grab one of those foods. Which ones do I have here? Oops. Cobbler salad, sky apple pie. Guaranteed evasion. 
weeks, but that one gives you max hit points up, which is pretty great too. Especially if we're about to, I think we're about to do a boss fight. Sure as hell seems like we're building towards a boss fight, considering everything we've ever done in this game ever. <laughs> They're doing some pie and some rest. Let's get our three mains in there, our tank, the person that teams up with our tank to do crazy damage, and Setsna, obviously. Screw you, Julian, and the fact that this whole place is your dungeon, basically, for story purposes. That, that's an airship in the background, by the way. Oh, yep, yep, there we go. So this is the royal airship. Wow, I've never seen anything like it before. Remain vigilant. Most likely, some other trial still awaits us. Thou truly art a, ru a worthy ruler. Who are you? I am Riederk. I am the king I am the kingdom's guardian, a post I have held since ancient times. I am truly humbled. My name is Julian. I am the rightful successor to the royal throne. If you are a kingdom's guardian, then I have but one thing to ask of you, please. I wish for you to lend me your strength so that I may be our kingdom restored. I may see our kingdom restored and lead our people towards a brighter future. Do not fear, young royal. It is to serve that very purpose that my power exists. However, thou hast yet to meet my final condition. Your final condition? To give the soaring ship to one who was not worthy would bring grave misfortune onto the people. Let me bear witness to your strength. Once you have surpassed me, the soaring ship shall be yours. Please, everyone, lend me your strength. Leave it to us. Yeah, of course. If we went back empty-handed after coming this far, we'd be a laughing stock. Our strength is yours, Julian. Let's go, Julian. Thank you. I am in your debt. Hello. Open thine eyes, steal thy heart, and ready thy lance. Power and fear are but two sides of the same sword. Justice without power is ignored, but power without justice is no more than violence. Show unto me thy just heart. Show unto me thy just blade. Show unto me thy just rule. This whole quest got really tightly tied into the story of Julian regaining their kingdom, considering they li they're they literally the last person to join our entire squad in the entire storyline. It's weird how important they are for someone we didn't meet for the first, like, 75% of the game. Up till now, anyway, not the whole game overall. Whoa, my goodness. Aren't you getting a little damage happy? I didn't even have- I don't even have an SP yet and you're destroying me that quickly. Jeez. Alright. Let's get that... First attack in there. Should I go for Agakuri? Or Blow Beat? Uh, some status effects would be nice. And it hits everybody, which is also nice. Summoned a d <laughs> They're called Dermon. <laughs> or Deermon. Deermon used Hyper Beam. That's totally wrong. That's Digimon. Info. Never mind. It's fine. I said two things together that don't make sense. <laughs> Let's get Kirin. Oh, well, there goes everybody. That'll significantly reduce the amount of incoming damage, probably. Especially since he's got status effects on him now. Ridir. Confusion, defense down, stun nullified. Alright. I mean, he's not going to constantly pummel us the same way, hopefully, so that's a good sign. Uh, who just got stopped? Oh. Ender just got stopped. Well, I guess we're done trying to use stuff with him for a moment. Demonic Strike can set the uh, element of the enemy's attacks. Oh, interesting. Weird, but interesting. Let's go for Stone Slash, see if I can stone them. Which is weird. I don't know why Stone Slash heals you, by the way. I don't think any part of the weapon description... I don't think the description of the, of the uh, attack says that. And I don't think that the... Uh, I, I don't think that he has any flux or anything that says it's going to give him heals. And I don't think his weapon currently heals. But apparently if you Momentum Stone Slash, it heals people. Like, a lot. It heals, like, the entire party by 200, which seems like a hell of a characteristic to not list anywhere unless I'm missing it somewhere. Uh, we'll go ahead and end Thunder, I guess. There we go. More damage. 
creature of light, I summon thee. Okay, so he's gonna keep summoning, but it looks like maybe he doesn't always... At, it seems that at, at the very least he perhaps doesn't always have another one to use on me. Okay, that's concerning. Now he stopped everybody. I should probably fix that directly. So... There's anything do I have anything that specifically stops... No, I do not. But I have a status ailment. Uh, Pan Panacea. There we go. Now he's moving again. Ta-da! Now I'm in pain again. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, come on now. Now you're just getting spammy about it. Alright. You're faster than her, probably. Let's give you the next one. It's fine. They're not that expensive. I can just get more, I guess. But I do totally need people to be mostly moving again if I can... I don't know. I guess I'll try to get... I guess if I mess up and can't beat this, I'll try to do... I'll try to get, like, stop shield on some of my, on my characters. There's a bunch of shields for sap and everything. I assume one of them's probably stop. Anyway, this is getting a little silly. So I'm going to ask you to step off. Oh. Oh! Good news, bad news. Uh, no damage, apparently, but I did actually successfully hit get them uh, encased in stone, which doesn't always happen. Here we go. There we go. Waiting for blow beat. Let's deal some damage. And you're gonna prayer to deal help with the re reducing pool of MP. Gotcha. Uh, no one really needs to heal right now, partly because that damn stone attack just gives us an endless supply of healing. I say that as the damage happens to me, of course. Uh, let's see. Could go for another attack like that, or I could do something individual. Let's let him do stone swing again, because it, it'll heal people a bit, so I'll go for cyclone. There we go. And you can use... Uh, Luminaire actually might be good. If it's kind of expensive. Eh. It's fun! And it gives us a stat boost, apparently. Auto revive? Oh my goodness, it does that? How long does that last? I assume that means that if they go down, they automatically stop going- they stop being down afterwards. That's a hell of a thing to not know that that thing does. Uh, okay. I'll go for provoke? Nah. He's not doing that much damage right now. I'll just go for attacking him directly. Oh, wait, one second. There we go. And there goes the extra enemy. We don't know how much health he has. Nope, we don't. He hasn't healed yet. Oh, we keep summoning people constantly. So AoEs are good. A line in front of the user won't really help out. I'll just... I'll settle for Cyclone, probably. Let's get some SP real quick. Here, you can do Lightning, too. Cyclone. There we go. There goes the bonus guy. As long as we keep that going, we're probably in a good spot to be in. Ow! Excuse me. She is specifically useful to have MP on. I don't, I don't like that. Stop that. Why don't you just get encased in stone already, as I continually damage, uh, heal my entire party with that skill. <laughs> the secret reason why I keep using it. A uh, prayer on myself? Yeah. Keep that supply up. And a, and a juggle between teammates. I'm still constantly bothered by the fact that I can't move my characters around manually. Just because the, all these people that are near you or not near you abilities are such a big deal as far as I can tell. But you have, all, you have very little direct control over them unless you're specifically attacking specific enemies to maybe get them next to each other. But that's even super situational and relies on the enemy's placement themselves. Ow. Whoa, okay, getting slightly spammy now. Calm down. I got kid. Damn. That looked like it hurt. And here's the heal. Oh, damn, that's a strong heal. Next priority is probably to re restore the MP of Niter. I have no idea how well we're doing, but we're doing, so that's good. Uh, hello. You should probably use this, actually. You're going to heal Setsuna. You might as well use Shock or something. 
How effective is this? Eh? Middle, a little bit middle of the road, perhaps. Uh, what are you doing? No, stop doing that. She didn't. She literally had so little time to recover. She didn't get to use in an attack. <laughs> That's slightly obnoxious. Holy crap! He's getting spammy at this point. All right, stone slash for the heal, and and my main character Ender will take care of this. All right, he's very stop spammy, becoming a problem. Also, he's fast. He's really fast. Come on. It's a little more, uh... Could go for a heal. Oh, also heals all status elements of the entire party. Oh, but it requires... That's, that's a party move between two characters, so it requires Tetsuna to be active, so it's not as useful. Uh, no. Let's see. MP recovered automatically. It's probably not a terrible idea to have someone people. Especially since we're all near near each other. Allies near the target. If I do it on sets, it might affect all of us. Please. That did not seem to affect anyone nearby. Were you lying? Uh, let's do Luminaire in just a second here. Um... I'm sorry, did I, get, did, I, did I just get stopped again? No, I'm just crazy. Just had a moment moment of crazy. Uh, sorry, what did I just do? Oh, there it is. I was like, what happened to Luminaire? I, I guess I messed up and opened the menu at the wrong moment and it just blew my mind of like, what is the timing of this thing? Like, where'd the skill go? I thought he was using Luminaire. I'm so confused. But no, I was just breaking. <laughs> I was just shattering my brain as a human being. I really should have defused that. I realize. Just waiting a moment. Hey now, calm down. Let's, in Let's do the in thunder again. Oh, or not. I guess we could just also not. That's also fun, I guess. Cool. Uh, he really likes to stop people. Let's do this. There we go. Everyone's fully healed. We're fine now. So I set up her to constantly have a supply of MP so she can keep casting all the time. And then she perpetually never gets turns because she's being stopped so frequently. <laughs> How? What are you doing? What did you just do? I don't like that you just did a thing. Stop it. Uh oh. Uh. Wow. Uh. Uh. Okay, my brain's breaking. <laughs> I'm trying to. Uh. Did he block me? I don't think he blocked. No. I was trying to trigger the momentum of my attack, but I clicked on the attack and then he did like three actions in a row, which made it really confusing about me trying to trigger momentum because I'm not really sure what was just happening. But like, there's so many other animations happening. Holy crap. His actions are freakishly frequent. Kind of freaking me out, man. Alright, uh... Let's find, a, let's find some sort of weird special effects to try to trigger on him. Just to try to make him do less. I actually don't have that many status, status effects in this character, do I? I mean, I'm, I'm high on SP, so I can do Spark. That's handy. And apparently that heals me also? Did not know that healed me. Everything heals me, apparently. Surprise. <laughs> uh, pinpoint. Let's see if it does any bonus damage. That's it. Ha there's that happening again, where I'm casting a spell and he does this. And then I'm trying to figure out the timing of my... Momentum. There we go. The hell of a, it's a hell of a moment to try to set up your, your uh, momentum and that stuff's happening. And you're like, I just want a momentum! Ah! I mean, it's supposed to hurt my enemies and heal my teammates. And I'm torn between doing both, so let's do both. Auto revive. Especially since she's recovering energy constantly right now. Can't afford to use spark, though. I'm gonna go ahead and use diffuse. Ether. 
Stop it. Calm down. I wish I could see how much health he has, because he seems to be healing by draining me constantly, and it's making me iffy about what's going on health-wise over there. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up Ender a little bit. And then Ender will follow up with uh, a spark with his full SP. Right, I didn't need to I didn't need to use the that's my bad. I didn't need to heal I didn't need to heal him because he already had full health coming in from the fact that Spark for some reason heals him. It's because apparently it's a momentum skill for healing. Ah, okay, messing with my timing on my moment my momentum pretty hard right now. Wow, he yeah. That's it's really weird how in the time Supposedly, when I click on tech right here, it pauses time. But even though it's pausing time, he somehow queues up multiple attacks? Unless it's not pausing time, but my whole gameplay up till now seemed to make it seem that way. So maybe he... Maybe using attacks triggers him using attacks? I wonder. Either way, if I just keep using a lot of skills that heal my party, it's probably gonna keep us above board. And I've got this nice attack that just generates SP for me constantly. Making it so I somehow constantly have SP. Crazy how that worked out. What happened? Oh, it's over. I'm like, why did my cursor just freeze midway through this? <laughs> I was midway through pressing buttons and the cursor just froze in the middle of the menu. Did it take a delayed amount of time to realize he was dead? <laughs> there was like some weird timing stuff happening in that fight. Hello, everything. Wow, that's a lot of items from one, from one enemy. Okay. How, how, why do you have a hoof? <laughs> For hundreds of years I have waited. Waiting waited for the coming of this day. Thou hast my blessing. As legitimate ruler and as rightful owner of the soaring ship. That this is incredible. I can't believe a ship like this really exists. It's beautiful. Yeah, I can't take my eyes off it. Young Julian. I pray that thou wilt become a truly worthy owner to this ship. Julian received the world key from Ryder. Which is... I, I gave you my word. I shall make this ship proud. Also, I'll give it emotions so I can make it proud. The hell of a promise to make. This key shall awaken not only the soaring ship, but all that bears the same crest. Oh, it's the all the silver chests in the entire world. I don't know if I have the patience to try to remember every single location for every single one in the entire game, and literally visit every location we've ever been to to get them all, though. Inside chests and behind gates thou shalt find greater strength, and find such strength thou must. For eventually, thou must confront that which destroyed our kingdom. Such is the destiny of thy royal blood. I guess we'll have, we'll have to see if, uh... We'll have to see if whatever's ahead of us is actually super dangerous, because... Uh... I don't know if I'd want to check... Find all of those chests unless I actually needed to. Wait! What was it that destroyed our kingdom? Please! Tell me! Never forget that, young royal. It's an entire temple of convenient platforms. I should probably visit that save point real quick. 